Okay, so now let's get on to the texturing and we're going to start with some of the trees. So the first thing that we're going to do is this little green bush over here. And actually it's not really a bush, it's more like a small pine tree that's kind of tilted over because it's got a lot of weight on it from the snow. So what we want to do is apply the uh, pine needle texture to the leaves on here. So let's create a new V-Ray shader and we'll just create an advanced material. I'm going to change this over to a plane and we're going to go to the diffuse layer and in the texture folder there are two textures that we're going to be using. The first one here is the AM124 color leaf and that's going to go in the diffuse layer. So we're going to take it and drag it up here and put it in there. And then we're going to go to the weight channel. This is also known as alpha. And we're going to take this one here, which is the opacity, and we're going to drop that one into there. Now right offhand, you can probably see that something isn't right here because the uh, alpha material is actually doing the opposite of what it should be doing. It should be that the pine needles are actually coming through when actually they are transparent. Now the reason for this is because V-Ray works the opposite with alpha channels as Cinema 4D does. Uh, you know, we, we've we become accustomed to using black and white images for alpha channels and transparencies with Cinema 4D and After Effects where anything that's white is transparent and black is opaque. Well, anything here used with V-Ray is just the opposite. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to create a standard Cinema 4D material and I'm just going to make this a green color. We'll go into the alpha and I'm going to load in the same exact image that we use for the V-Ray material. I'm going to load that into there. Now notice how it comes up here for the standard C4D shader. It's actually coming in correct. However, with the V-Ray shader, it's been reversed. That's because the V-Ray system here works opposite for alpha channels. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can deal with this. The first way is you can take it into Photoshop and just invert the image and that will work and then you can bring it back in or you can just hit the invert button here and now everything is working properly. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that C4D shader and we're going to take this one here and I need to call this pine needles and then we'll take it and drag it over here to the leaves object. It is set to UVW mapping so I'm going to make one more V-Ray advanced material and I'm going to call this one stems go to the diffuse layer and back to the texture folder so there's different texture maps here that you can pick from of course this is going to be for the stems on this tree so the stem and the bark are pretty much the same thing kind of so you can just pick one of these that you want you can pick this bark here you can pick this brown one or this one over here or maybe one of these here. So I figure what we could do is just pick uh, this one here because we're really not going to be seeing it because the camera's not going to be up close so it really doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this color here and just drag this one up here. And then we can take this and drag it over here to the stems. Alright, so the next tree We'll work on will be this one here which is going to be let's see we need to click on the actual leaves and we go find it and it's tree number two all right so we have the leaves on the top the leaves on the bottom and we also have the trunk and the branches so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new V-Ray advanced material and we're going to call this tree two leaves. Okay so I'm going to change this over to a plane and for the diffuse layer we're going to load in an image here. Now you can choose whichever one of these you want. You can choose this one here or actually you could use one of the green ones if you want but since this is a winter scene I figured maybe there's a tree that it really didn't lose its leaves so of course coming from the fall into the winter the leaves are going to be probably a orange yellowish type of color. So let's take this one here and let's drag it up to here. And of course you don't have to use this one. You can use any of these other ones if you wish. 
and we also want to go back to the weight channel and we need to drag in the appropriate alpha channel and of course it needs to be inverted alright so there we go and then what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll drag this over to the leaves and then we'll drag this one down to that one there and while we're here we might as well just go ahead and do a little render just to see what this is going to look like so I'm just going to go ahead and render that little region right there okay so there's the render looks pretty good getting some really nice little specular hits here on the snow from the light coming from the uh, windows over here so we just need to apply a quick texture to the stems here and the uh, little limbs and branches in the trunk so what we'll do is we could probably just take this one here and reuse it so let's see what happens if we take that and set that there It's not really going to be seen much by the camera, so I think that one will work just fine. All right, so the same thing that we've been doing for these two trees here, you can do for the rest of these trees over here, like uh, this big tree here and the pine tree. So one thing that we can do with this pine tree, if you wanted to, is we could take, let's see, let's find the pine tree. Here we go. So we have the needles, and what we could do here is we could take this one. For the pine needles here, we could just reuse them and place them over here. And then we've got the branches, the small branches in the center trunk. Now these really aren't going to be seen too much by the camera. So we could just go ahead and reuse this material here. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just render a little region just to uh, see what this looks like again. All right, so you can see what this looks like here with these pine needles. I think they look pretty good. You can see them kind of sticking out of the snow, which just adds to the realism. I think that looks pretty good. So we could do the same thing with this tree here. And of course, we can do something similar with this tree over here. Now, the only difference is this one here, you're going to need to, let's see, let's take this material and see if we can reuse it. Let me click on the object there to find it. That's the tall tree. So what we could do is take this over here to the smaller limbs as well as the trunk branches object. And I'll just quickly render, let's see, let's render the little portion here. All right, so there's that. Looks pretty good. Really no need to have to make any type of adjustment to it just simply because the camera is not going to be in close on it. So there's really no need to have to see all the little tiny details. So that looks good. All right, so uh, let's try these little bushes down here. Now these here already have the shape of the leaf. So all we have to do is just create a new uh, advanced material. And we're just going to call this a simple green leaf. Change it to a plane. And what I want to use will probably be something uh, let's see, let's try something like this one here, maybe. And I put it into the weight channel. That's not what I want to do. I want to go to the diffuse layer. Put that one into the texture map area. And let's apply this to these here, which is going to be the front bush. So we'll put this over here to the front bush. To the bottom as well. And there we go. That looks pretty good. So I'll just quickly render that just to see what that looks like, which I pretty much already know that it's going to look good. All right, so you can see that one turned out good as well. So of course we can go to this one over here and apply the material to this, which is going to be this brown color. We'll just go ahead and reuse it. Or you can use one of the other brown materials here for the bark in any of these textures here. And we've got some uh, bushes here as well. So let's go find where those are at. I clicked on the wrong thing again. I need to click on the leaf. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just reuse these here. All right, that looks pretty good. We got this one over here. So we'll just reuse the green leaf texture again. All right, now, of course, we've got 
this tree here. So we might as well go ahead and do this tree. So let's create, uh, let's just go to this material here and just duplicate it. And for this one, let's try to use a different type of leaf for this. So let's do, I don't know, maybe, what did we use before that one? So this one here will make it a darker color orange. So we'll put that one up there and we'll go into the weight channel. And what we need to get now would be this one here. Put that one there. All right, so we need to go find this tree. It's gonna be tree number three. And let's put this one over here. And for the branches in the trunk, we'll just reuse that same material that we've been using. All right, now there's one more thing that I wanted to try to do really quick before we end this part, and that would be to create some type of snow shader, but it's gonna be kind of transparent and it will go over the leaves because right now what we've got is the buildup of snow and then the leaves are down here, but there's nothing on these leaves. And in a winter scene such as this, where it's very cold, you're gonna have maybe a little bit of frost, some ice, and maybe a light dusting of snow that's going to cover the leaves. So what I want to do is I want to take the snow shader and I'm going to duplicate it and we're just going to call this snow dusting and that's just going to be just for objects so just going to have a very light thin coat of snow on them. So we'll turn the specular layer off because we don't need it and for the weight channel uh, let's first of all let's go over here and let's change this to a plane and for the weight channel let's go in here to some noise and I'm going to change the noise to turbulence and what I want to do is I want to kind of zoom in here to one of these leaves and I want to apply this over to one of these here. Now we also need to activate the mixed texture. All right, so what we'll need to do is just render the little region there where the leaf is at. Okay, so obviously we're gonna have to make some adjustments to the noise and kind of play around with the low and high clip uh, because we wanna have a little more detail in there. But you can see that the actual card or the polygon here that the texture is applied to is actually showing up now because we've applied these textures to it. And they all have the mixed texture option turned on, which is what we need, but you can see that the card was showing through. So what we wanna do is go over into the uh, snow dusting material and for the weight, what we wanna do is we wanna keep the noise, but we want to just click on layer. So click on the layer shader. So what we want to do is instead of clicking on image and loading up the leaf image because that's what we're going to need, we're going to go over to a shader and we're going to click on filter shader. So we'll click on it there and load it up and we need to apply a texture. So what we want to do is we want to take this leaf material or for the alpha that we were using and drop that into there. Now notice up here it's reversed. So what we want to do is we want to just reverse these values here. So one way to do that is just enable clipping. And then we can just take the low clip all the way up and the high clip, bring it all the way down. Okay, now it's reversed. So we'll go back. All right, so that's all we need to do there. So we'll go back over here into the noise. And more than likely, we're gonna need to make some adjustments here. So we just wanna make this a little stronger. Maybe something like that. And let's try to render this one more time now. I'm just gonna back out a little bit just to make the render a little quicker. All right, so you can see that the alpha channel now with the layer shader that we put together, that is working and we no longer see the entire card. However, these leaves have a little too much snow on them. So I think we need to go back and make some adjustments here. Okay, so what we can do is we can take this alpha image here with the filter 
and we can drop that down to be the base image. And then we can take the noise shader here and we can just change the mode. And if we change it to multiply, what's going to happen is it's going to put that outside part back on the image. And now what's going to happen is the leaf is not going to show up in the shape of a leaf. It's going to be the way it was when we first applied the texture to it, which means the whole card is going to be seen. So what we want to do is we want to change the mode here to screen. And now we get the leaf shape with some snow on it. So I'm going to render a little region right there one more time. And now the shape of the leaf is back and we also have a little bit of noise in there with the white to kind of make it look like some of these leaves have a light dusting of snow on them. So we could take this same shader here and we could also apply it to these here. So I'll just quickly do that really quick and then I'm just going to go ahead and end this lesson because I'm sure you can just follow along with this uh, just to do the rest of the leaves if you want to do them. So what we can do is we can take, let's see, we have this is this one here. So what we could do is just take and take this shader here and what we can do is just go into the layer shader and we could probably just take this filter and just delete that and then we have just uh, just this here which is fine and we can take it and drag it over here on top of the leaf and we need to activate mixed texture and drag that up to that one as well and just to see what this looks like I will render the little region there we'll give it a, a few seconds to render and see what it looks like all right, so there is the light dusting of snow on the leaves. Now, if that's too much for you, you can go in and you can make adjustments to the weight channel, which is also known as the alpha channel. You could go in and make adjustments to that. You could take the noise on the turbulence noise that we created. You can take the noise up or take the noise down, depending on how much detail you want on the leaves. But for something like this, the camera, again, is not going to be in there very close. So I think this here is going to work just fine. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through these different uh, plants and whatnot. I'm just going to apply this uh, snow dusting alpha material to the different plants and leaves. And uh, in the next part, we're going to get started with building some of the textures for the house.